glad you're watching Kenya Television Service. Remember, you 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 are watching a Farmers Check program, and together with my colleague, my name is Caroline Chumba, and I am Geoffrey Chepkwan, and uh, today we are at Emix Farm, where we are with our expert or the farmer, the owner of the farmer, who is Eli Chuma. Farm. Uh, this farm I do beekeeping, dairy, mm -hmm. but uh, now beekeeping is a zero program project. Mm -hmm. It's a zero mm -hmm. management project. Yeah. When when you say zero management project, kindly explain more on the same. Uh, you see, when you go to dairy, you have to look for feeds. Mm -hmm. You look for water but when you come to beekeeping you only get a hive mm -hmm. and that is all it mm -hmm. you only come to harvest every other time i harvest every 15 uh, 30 days mm -hmm. these hives mm -hmm. i imported 50 hives from uk mm -hmm. and uh, every month i harvest not less than 500 liters honey. of honey Okay, let's come to still on requirement. You said there are zero whatever. Talk of talk of something on the requirement in terms of where you place the PIs, in terms of your location, your farm. How do you manage your farm? Where is, where specifically is the appropriate place in your farm for, uh, for beekeeping? Bee needs a, a distant place from children, mm -hmm. from animals, yeah. and from any any other disturbance. So I separated this place purposely for the bees. Mm -hmm. Because when you disturb a bee, it will always attack you. Mm -hmm. okay. So it is in a separate place. Mm -hmm. I made the shade for it because I wanted to extend the lifespan. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Karo, do you have any questions? Yeah, maybe you can advise uh, upcoming farmers that want to do beekeeping and in terms of structure as we've seen your structure are different from the normal one that we have here in kenya mm -hmm. uh, you can uh, advise farmers that have the the passion to do passion to do be, be, beekeeping. beekeeping yeah uh, as i said this is a zero management project mm -hmm. i would just like my fellow Kenyans to keep bees because you don't manage it. Mm -hmm. okay, I want to I want to advise also farmers mm -hmm. to come. Uh, we join hands so that we become more beekeepers, so that the production goes high and the consumption of the product can be exported. We give it for export, not for local consumption. Okay, in terms of, you, you say that you imported your PIs from UK. Yes. How unique are these PIs in terms of structure? This hive is uh, made in a way that the queen has a separate place to, mm -hmm. to do the laying of eggs. and uh, Because a bee, the, the queen does 500 1500 per day so in this what? eggs, eggs okay. yes mm -hmm. so in a, in a, in a day mm -hmm. by the end of the of the month mm -hmm. you have millions and every 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 other day this bees has to look for a place to go mm -hmm. it goes in a battalion way mm -hmm. when it is just complete mm -hmm. it has the queen but it, it looks for a place. So, I would just advise my fellow Kenyans to get hives. In that same hive, we have separated the queen from the workers. So, the top side is the, the, the honey, and the lower part is the queen. Okay. So, in comparison with the, the normal beehives that most Kenyans have, 
They don't separate. They don't separate. They don't separate the, the two. Yeah. Then what happens when you you place a a high P I and and the the P doesn't move to your I or sometimes you find that you have a P I then sometimes they move. When we are we are we are importing these hives, mm-hmm. we are given something called an attractor, mm-hmm. something that attracts the bee, mm-hmm. a corpse. Mm-hmm. We you put in the you put you lay them in the in the in the in the hive. Mm-hmm. By the time you you set your hive, mm-hmm. the bees just come. Okay. It attracts. Mm-hmm. Yes, and when you you leave your hive open. Maybe that's the time the bee will run, because it will be exposed, maybe to rain or to sunshine, things the bee doesn't like. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how is your your harvesting? If you can tell our farmers how you do your harvesting and how often you do it. I have a spinning machine, mm-hmm. and uh, every hive has apartments of about twelve. One apartment holds one kilo of honey. In, uh, in uh, North Rift, we have a, this hive gives me now about 10 kilos per hive. And I have 50 of them. So I multiply by the 50 hives, I get about 500 liters of honey. Yeah. I sell them at 1,000 per liter, which is equivalent to half a million. From... From the 50 hives. <laughs> and you said zero management. It is zero. You don't put anything. Mm. Yes. Yeah. So that means a uh, profitable venture if farmers would like to... It is 100% profit. Mm-hmm. Because the first harvest mm-hmm. earns you the capital. Mm-hmm. Because to import this hive is one is 10,000 mm-hmm. up to here, one hive. Mm-hmm. So I imported 50 for 500,000. Mm-hmm. My first harvest... After five months, mm-hmm. I got 500,000. After? Five, five, months. M- five months. Why is the first harvest taking longer? Because you're saying every, every month you have a Before, when you bring your hive when it is new, mm-hmm. the queen has to build its own colony. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then you give it three months. That's why you, you can see in the, in the, in the lower, in the lower hive, mm-hmm. it has a date. Mm-hmm. That's the date it entered. And then you give it three months. After three months, you you put the apartment and then put the honey box. So two months on top and two months and three months for the queen. So those are five good months. The sixth month you harvest continuously. Okay. Say something on the structure of setting up the pi. I've seen you have roofed the yeah. section. These these hives mm-hmm. are supposed to be all over, mm-hmm. scattered. The lifespan when it is scattered, maybe because it is rained on, it is done what, mm-hmm. it takes twenty years. But when you you put the shed, mm-hmm. it extends the lifespan. Mm-hmm. So I wanted it to to go up to fifty years, so that after me, my children will also harvest. harvest. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's talk of. Time of harvesting. At what time do you harvest? I harvest every 30 days. Apart from duration, in terms of duration? Yeah. Time of the day. Do you harvest? Do you, you harvest at night. These things are very dangerous. Mm-hmm. And what are the procedures? We have the gear, mm-hmm. we have the spinning machine, mm-hmm. and we have the smoker. Mm-hmm. We don't kill these bees. Mm-hmm. We only smoke them, they move apart, and then you remove the honey. Mm-hmm. You spin it, and you return. Is there an instance where you, after everything, the, the bees swarm away? Yeah, when you don't lock the box, that you don't lock the hive nicely, mm-hmm. the bees will go. Mm-hmm. We have these ants which move. If they, they, are, they, are, they are very sensitive to, to bee, mm-hmm. and they like the honey. Mm-hmm. So once they invent there, mm-hmm. the bee will go. Mm-hmm. So we take care. We take care so much. We, we put uh, grease on these... On these uh, pillars. pillars okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You've talked of uh, you have a spinning machine. Uh, maybe you can explain um, how it works. 
in terms of not interfering with the wax. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, the spinning machine takes three, three bricks and you spin. You know the honey is heavy. The, the, speed, the, 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 the high speed of the spinning spills the honey. And the cups and the, the wax remains intact. So that the bee will just continue putting the honey the next day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We don't destroy the, the, the wax. Mm -hmm. If there is a farmer with, who would like to supply honey to your farm, what is your take on the same? It depends on uh, how the harvest is. Okay. You know, this honey, mm -hmm. you don't hurt anything, mm -hmm. you don't remove anything. The, the, the other farmers or other people who keep bee sometimes squeeze the honey mm -hmm. using the hands. Sometimes they boil. Mm -hmm. But this one, we, we don't do that. It's a natural thing. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it also depends on how it is harvested. So you, you emphasize on the quality? Yeah, quality. Some farmers will, will talk of the nectar that you, you plant, the flowers that you plant around the, the beehives that us. They are saying it has impact on the quality of the of the honey that you produce. What's your take on the same? Do you normally plant flowers or you you wait for the natural? When you plant flowers, it will not be called a zero management again. Okay. Because you love, you'll be struggling to plant flowers mm -hmm. for the bee. Mm -hmm. That thing is meant to look for its own food, even if it is 20 kilometers a day. Mm -hmm. That is its work. Okay. So when you plant flowers, it's never zero management again. So what, what he had, you talked to the farmer and previous year he was talking of grass having flowers. Is it true? Yeah. Mm -hmm. These things collect nectar from every other part. Mm -hmm. From grass, from trees, from a dead body, from urine. That is their work. Mm -hmm. Yes. So your advice to a farmer is that there is no need of planting. Don't have, don't don't plant. don't work for it. Mm -hmm. Let it work itself. Because mm -hmm. that is its work. That is its work. Natural work. We are still with our guest, uh, Eli Chuma, and we would like him to give us more insights on where he got the skills of this kind of farming. Okay. Uh, mostly, I've done research in books, mm -hmm. and that is where I googled and I found the, where they sell these mm -hmm. hives. Mm -hmm. And I've not gone to school for this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's a. Uh, it's just Learn about practically. yeah it's about research and, and, research and yeah, yeah. Okay. let's say talk something on how do you manage your your time especially you have dairy you have because this one you have said it's a zero zero management yeah mm -hmm. so this one doesn't have a lot of work but do you often visit the same place to check if they room properly and what do you check on your i visit here every other day only to enjoy the vicinity <laughs> I love the bees going in and coming out. Mm -hmm. I sometimes want to know what these bees bring, mm -hmm. what they collect. Mm -hmm. So I enjoy looking at them the way they work. Mm -hmm. So visiting here is not even managing it. Mm -hmm. It's just enjoying. Mm -hmm. It's one way of enjoying. It's like music. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love looking at them. Mm -hmm. And I'm soon adding some more hives. Mm -hmm. I want to make it up to about 500 hives mm -hmm. and then I'll export this, hi this honey, mm -hmm. not locally consumed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Toko, she had mentioned there earlier the issue of harvesting and where you, how you harvest. Let's talk of market. 
Where do you sell your where like, do you sell your honey and uh, how long does it take for it to be consumed in the market? Does it delay your hair? We've made agreement with the the market. Okay. Like Nakuma, they buy honey. Mm -hmm. Then we have uh, local consumers. Mm -hmm. But we brand our own honey mm -hmm. and it doesn't it doesn't delay even to be bought mm -hmm. because it is just a natural honey. Mm -hmm. I want to do the export because in the foreign countries they don't use this industrial sugar. Mm -hmm. They've gone to natural sugar. Mm -hmm. So the market for this abroad is like adding value to the market. Okay. Yes. How is how is Kenyan consume how are Kenyans consuming and is it uh, is it is in high demand or uh, yeah. Kenyans only use this for maybe medication. Mm -hmm. Maybe when they are told they are prescribed to use it for other medicine, mm -hmm. but they don't really know it's good also for health. Mm -hmm. It is wonderful. Yeah. yeah. You, you, don't you have any? Um, don't you wish that it could have been used so much here in Kenya? Because this Done. is home. Yeah. Than exporting it outside. <laughs> sure. Uh, it is also like, you know, like Africans. Inamatu. Inamatu. Yeah, I was talking, I was saying, our African people. Mm -hmm. Like when they use, uh, they produce any product for market, mm -hmm. they use those ones that are leftovers. Mm -hmm. But we need to take the real product. Okay. Yes. Okay, let's talk of the, the area you are coming from. This is Nandi County, and most of the people have seen beekeeping as good in arid and semi-arid areas, especially in not 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 on part of Kenya. And not on not areas. What's your take or what is your advice to someone coming from your county? Mm, we cannot all come from semi arid areas. Yeah. Let's be contented with what you have. Because I'm here in Nandi, mm -hmm. I will work from Nandi. Mm -hmm. So, like, I, I had I wanted to purchase land in Marigat mm -hmm. because the production of this one hive in Marigat is 12, kilo, 12 liters per box. Mm -hmm. But here it is less by 2, two liters. Mm -hmm. But you see, I cannot be going to Marigat every month. Mm -hmm. So instead, I just had another hive mm -hmm. to cover the 2 kilometers, mm -hmm. the 2 liters mm -hmm. of a hive. Mm -hmm. And I use my own small land. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it means that beekeeping in Nandi County is also good. You can also produce it. It is, it is viable. It is, it is good. It is, it is okay. okay. Yeah. Any other questions? Peace were very violent. What, what's your take on the same? Are they too violent or what do you do? <laughs> Especially we are close to the beehives. You see, you got to be friendly to these animals. Uh -huh. When you are wild to them, they'll always know somebody is here. But you stood near to it. He's yeah. far from us. Yeah. What did he do? <laughs> Maybe we ask him what he did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. So yeah. we have come to the end of our program. I uh, hope you have enjoyed. If you are a farmer and you are watching this program, like our page, uh, Kenya Television Service. Our, our Facebook page is KTS, uh, Farm, KTS Farmers Check. For any questions and inquiries, we will give the contacts of the the owner of the farm so that he can give you more information on the same yeah. thank you so much viewers and uh, for farmers from North Rift and even Nandi counties to be specific because today we've been in Nandi county it is your chance now to know that you can you can venture into beekeeping farming as we've, uh, as 
Mr. Chuma here has uh, given us a good idea and even how he has done it. It has been a great, great day for us and even for you who is watching there. Beekeeping is a no management um, project. Planning project. So learn, I hope we've learned something from it and we hope for more farmers to venture into it and thank you very much for being with us. My name is Caroline Chumba. And I've been also, my name is Geoffrey Chepcoin. Thank you. Thank you.